Let's fix the message. Choose another phone number or email address to call when using FaceTime on your iPhone. This message or problem usually comes from issues with contact settings, Apple ID, or configurations or app data. You can try out these solutions to fix the problem. Solution 1. Delete and re-add numbers for FaceTime and iMessage. Open your phone settings. Tap on your Apple ID at the top. Then tap on sign in and security. From here you need to find the number that is showing that unavailable for iMessage and FaceTime and then tap on it and then tap on remove account. And simply remove the number from your account by tapping on it. And after removing the number, go back and tap on add email or phone number and tap on phone number from here and simply add the number from here and follow the rest of the continuing prompts to get back the number on your phone. Once you have got back the number, see if that fixed your problem or not. Solution 2. Sign out and back in with Apple ID. Open your phone settings, then tap on Apple ID at the top, then scroll down to the bottom and tap on sign out. After that, you might need to enter your Apple ID password and hit continue and turn off your Apple ID from here. After that, you will be signed out from your Apple ID. Once you have been signed out, get out from your settings and restart your phone. Once your phone restarts, get back from here and open your phone settings. Then tap on your Apple ID at the top and sign back in with the rest of the prompts. And once you have signed back in, check if FaceTime and iMessage issue is resolved or not. Solution 3. Offload and reinstall FaceTime. Open your phone settings, then tap General. Tap on iPhone Storage and from here find the app you're having trouble. If you're having trouble with FaceTime, then find FaceTime. If you're having trouble with iMessage, then find the Messages app. But for me, I'll just find my FaceTime app. Once you have found the app, just tap on it. After that, tap on Offload app and confirm the action by tapping on Offload app once again. Once you tap on Offload app, your app, FaceTime app will be deleted and but you will still have the data available. Simply reinstall the app from here from the button that will be available from now on and reinstall FaceTime. Once you have reinstalled FaceTime, you will be able to use it without losing any of your data and hopefully fix the problem. Follow the same process for iMessage if you think the problem is with the iMessage app and see if that fixes the problem. Solution 4. Enable background app refresh. Open your phone settings, then tap general. Scroll down a bit and find background app refresh from here and then tap on it. Tap on background app refresh again and make sure that it's set for Wi-Fi and mobile data. Once you have made sure of that, just go back and find the FaceTime or iMessage app from here and make sure that's enabled for background app refresh. You will need background app refresh enabled for FaceTime and iMessage to work properly. Solution 5. Reset all settings. If none of the other solutions work, then resetting all your settings might help. Open your phone settings, then tap General. Scroll down to the bottom and find Transfer or Reset iPhone, then tap on it. Tap Reset and hit Reset all settings. You may be prompted to enter your passcode, so simply enter your passcode. And once you're done, hit Reset all settings from here. Once you hit reset all settings, all your settings, basically your Wi-Fi settings, mobile data settings, and wallpaper preferences will be deleted, but it will not delete any of your data, so your photos and files are safe. So simply reset the settings, and after resetting, your problem should be fixed. So folks, that's how you fix the choose another phone number or email address to call error on FaceTime. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, be sure to give it a like, and subscribe to this channel for more useful tips. Thanks a lot for watching.